Hi, Lee. Uh, first question is, um, what would you say your favourite memory of the hat? There's a couple. Um, obviously, the, the Brentford FA Cup game here was an amazing atmosphere. Set out absolutely brilliant. But it has to be uh, 40 a year the promotion. Uh, Mauro popping up and scoring two goals, getting us back into the uh, league. I was here with my son sitting over there. Amazing day. Amazing day. So, you know, um, I just know Mauro. I um, obviously have been playing on league for a while. I have, uh, he's, uh, we've got a sort of similar friendship group. So yeah. I just speak to him. And he's just, he just literally just come back from um, uh, injury. Yeah. I was speaking to him yeah. like his time at uh, yeah. 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 Uh, he's a legend, absolute legend. Yeah, so um, next question is, what, what do you love uh, the most about uh, a match day? Just being here with uh, friends, been after working all week, just getting down to the down to the hive and you know seeing people that he's known for years and making new friendships. Um, this season, I've made two really good, what I call close friends. Um, my son's met a lot of younger fans now. <laughs> So it's just uh, the whole atmosphere now. I think this season, credit to you, my man, and uh, the rest of the lads and the, and the, the coaching staff. Um, it's been real. It's been a pleasure this season just being here. It's just the atmosphere. I mean, I love football. Um, I live for football, so I'm lucky. My wife understands that. That's always good. That's always good. <laughs> it, it is, I'm, I'm a very lucky man. I know I'm a lucky man. Believe it. So yeah, I mean, coming here, I just look forward to it. You know, look forward to it. on a Friday. I can't wait. I, I, it's funny because I prefer Tuesday night games. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I just I don't know what it is. You know, walking down the the hill there and seeing the floodlights on. You know, that when it's that time of year, it just gives me a little bit of a, a chill, really. So yeah, stuff like that. Nice. No, so that's good to hear, especially for us as players as well. Having um, even just just hearing you say that, it's good for us as well because it's good when we come and. You've got a nice little atmosphere. Yeah, like we appreciate it. Yeah. We, we appreciate that's, a, that's, a, that's the same with us. And I feel like if our um, uh, sort of the, the run we've been on um, and the position we're in the league, it's so good to have that sort of 12th yeah. man, you yeah. guys cheering us on, especially away from home and here as well. So it's always good to get uh, that high hands. Yeah. So, uh, next question is How long have you been uh, coming to games and a season to hold up? Right. So I've been here since day one. So I've uh, had a season ticket since you moved here. I've been coming to Barnet Games for about 20 years. I've lived and worked in Barnet um, off and on. So I've always used to drive past Underhill, um, dropped in for a few games, but probably a uh, season ticket holder to start off. Uh, about the 2010, 2011 season was when I started going uh, long term, home and away. Um, home and away. Yeah, yeah, home and away. And then obviously when we moved here, uh, didn't have much in the way of qualms about moving here. I've, I've always said to people, I, I follow the team. Mm -hmm. You know, okay, Underhill, great memories. Yep. Um, but you just got to look around here and 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 see what what's been built. To it's a bit of a no-brainer, you know. So yeah, you can see the, the facilities yeah. that have um, even like the gym and stuff. The, yeah. the inside the cafe. Yeah, it's so good to have. So yeah, I mean, you know, off uh, solid since around about 2010, 2011, 11 season, and then um, day one from there. Chose my chose my seat over there. Really lucky. Cho chose my seat. Signed up. I, I think I was in. Well, I think I was lucky enough to be in the first group of people. Um, Tony Clown for show around himself personally around the facilities, and then we went upstairs, and we all signed on. So it was, yeah, it was, um, it was really good day. It was a good day, actually. It was a good day. It's, it's, it's literally it's so refreshing to have someone that's, because um, obviously, I'm, obviously I'm a player, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a football fan as well. Mm -hmm. I've, I've got my team of support. So obviously I understand how much it, it how much it is to, to see the club from, like you said, you've seen it in the last eight, all mm -hmm. over to here. It must be, must be so good seeing the transition. Obviously there's highs and lows in football. Yeah, and you've literally been, been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No promotion uh, and... And relegation, unfortunately, but I like to think that uh, the, the good times are back. I really, I really do. I mean, you know, what can I say about this season? Um, expectations were set for us as a group of supporters, and you guys have excelled that. So, then yeah, that's that's so good to hear. Um, next question is, what would you say your favourite goal is? Obviously, you've been here so long. You've seen yeah, so many I goals. mean, there are a few. I mean, cut back to the, the free kick in the Brentford game, which put us ahead, and then we all know what happened after that. Um, 
I've seen a few. I mean, Hall is, Hall is um, the volume of a half volley earlier in the season. I yep. mean, that was yeah, a top that's draw. It. But um, it's quite funny because I was talking to my son about this last week prior to us going to uh, Gateshead and we were looking back over some of the goals here. And being that I, I sit literally right there just underneath the, the, the media box mm-hmm. is we had a guy, a midfielder, um, a Spanish player, Luis Ma. Mm-hmm. And he was a, a he to float across the the pitch. He was a, a real fan favourite here, mm-hmm. and he scored a goal. It must have been a Tuesday. It was a Tuesday night game. I'm sure it was. Or it was a night time game. Mm-hmm. Um, and he received the ball on the edge of the area just over there, and it was top bins. Top and it bins. was it was you know if you get a chance, Google his name. Yeah, I'll have to. And watch and watch the goal. It was pure genius. To what it, and it, to me, it was my all time stick in my memory. Yeah. Goal, the fact that it was so, it was so easy. It, it looked so easy. I mean, obviously the technique yeah, it's 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 to get it's top bins from that far out, but it was just yeah, had to keep a big hand down, had to keep a big hands down. So for me, Luis Ma, yeah. that is my my all time favorite. That that uh, that must, like I said, you've, you've been here for so long. For that to stick in your memory, it must. Yeah, must yeah. Be. Luis Ma is just top tier, top tier man. It's a very good move. Next question is, what made you fall in love with Ma? Lots of things. I mean, I remember growing up as a kid, and I've always, I've always lived in and around the Barnet area. I mean, in those days, it used to be the old Vidi print that used to come up on on match of the not match of the day grandstand. Mm-hmm. Um, and I always used to be interested in you hear the name Barnet, and then you depending on what league they'd be in, you'd always see the results, and you used to think, oh, one day I might go there and watch a game. And then living and actually moving to Barnet near Underhill, um, and then working five minutes away from Underhill, driving to and from um, most days, seeing the, the stadium there and the curiosity one day just got the better of me. Um, and then obviously when I got married and I, and I, and I had um, a child, I thought, right, that's it, we're gonna do this together. And we've been on a journey. So yeah, going back to the first question about my memory, that's why that memory to me is so important that I saw that with my son that day. Oh, Not only my friends, but he, he, he was here yeah. as well. So we've we've got that as a as a thing that we can always remember. So yeah, it, it, different things make you fall in love with uh, a football club, and it's not just one thing. It's lots of different things. Yeah, lots of different things. Amazing, yeah. That's that's a special that's moment that you can share with your yeah yeah yeah. It's those memories, isn't it? Is, yeah, yeah. I mean, even meeting people here, you know, and making friends um, that you that you know you've you've never known before, and then meeting people and striking up a friendship, striking up a conversation. That's all part of the match day. It's not. It's not just one thing; it's it's various things. And uh, yeah, um, so. like you said, you're you're sort of localish. Yeah, like, I am so, now. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I can I can, I'm lucky. I can see from from my kitchen window. I can see the floodlights <laughs> on, on a Tuesday night. So I'm literally five minutes away now. Um, just circumstances made that we had to move over back over this way again for mainly for my wife's work and and my son going to university, etc. So. We moved back over this way from Barnet, and um, yeah, you know, never look, we never look, never fall out of love with the club, though. Never fall out of love with the club. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's so good to hear. So good to hear. And the last question is, what is your favourite moment from this current season? Um, right, that's a difficult one. There's so many, um, and I don't want you to feel bad. About this <laughs> no, I, was hoping, I was hoping you were going to say something about me, because, but... <laughs> any other time I would. Any other time I would. Um, me and two guys, we uh, we sponsored uh, Harry Pritchard this this season, and to see Pritch get the goals and what else I mean, they stuff from mid from midfield, I think it's absolutely incredible. Um, I mean, top player, um, the effort that he puts in. I mean, all you boys do, all you boys do. But to see Pritch this year um, put on that shirt and and again. Sometimes a player sticks in your mind, and and you know Harry pulls on that shirt, and he gives he gives you know, 110 percent every game, and him getting an equaliser at, at Gateshead yeah. last week. I mean, you know, at the time I'm thinking this is done, yeah, and then that pops up. I mean, the I don't know if you've seen the 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 video of the, the us crown. Fans, yeah, you yeah, know, it fans. was it was it was amazing. So yeah, that for me, a moment of the season is Harry getting equaliser. Yeah, at, at Gateshead.